Hey everybody, welcome back to Fox's Best Laid Plans, the planner channel that minored in planning but majored in stress having. Stress having. Not stress management, mind you, stress having. Killing it on having stress. I just, if, you, if you're not stressed enough and you want some stress, I could do a video on how to have more stress and, and be more stressed all the time. It's my specialty. Hey everybody, how are you all doing? It is spring at last. It is fully into late mid-March and I don't know what's going on with my life. Does anything, does that ever change? Is there ever a time where I'm like, I got it together this week, my dudes. I don't think that ever happens. So this was last week. Um, last week was really rough. Um, bad day. I cried at work. Not any of my patients or anything like that. It was just, um, happened. And we had some stress on Sunday. Oh, and then husband was sad on Friday. I mean, look at this. We had a really good day Saturday. That was nice. But, um, yeah. Yeah. My hellbore bloomed, though. That was exciting. And since then, daffodils have bloomed. And my forsythia is blooming, which is a foreshadowing into this week, the week of Monday, March 21st through Sunday, March 27th, in my Gooseby Twins planner, where I am using the Forsythia kit from Pansy's Prince. That's what it's called. That's Forsythia, see? Now, Forsythia and I are in a toxic relationship together because I love it. I love yellow and orange flowers. Like those are among my favorites. Yellow, orange, red, that whole color spectrum. I love them. However, Forsythia, love it though I do, it does not love me back. I am super duper allergic to it. It's a big allergy trigger for me, but I have two Forsythia uh, bushes in my yard and they're just so pretty. So yeah, I know it's wrong but it feels so right. I keep coming back to those plants. So anyway, let's start, let's start the planning here. My mom is on her way over. It's Thursday. I should, let's start off with it's Thursday and I'm doing my planner on Thursday because I don't know. I don't know. That's my life. Mom is coming over. She's staying over tonight because we're going to watch a movie. I think we're going to watch Big Hero 6 because she's never seen it. So I'm pretty excited about that because it's like one of the best movies ever. Um, but my friend Shannon has, okay, wait, we're going to talk about two Shannons this week. I don't want you all to be confused. My friend Shannon from college is the Shannon I'm going to talk about right now. She and her husband and their kids live out in Vandergrift, which is like, I think 45 minutes from here. I have to look it up. Um, I haven't actually ever like been visited Vandergrift, but I used to drive through there when I was working out in Indiana PA a lot. So like I know kind of where it is, but I don't know how far on that drive it was. So anyway, she, uh, last year, you probably remember seeing, I got some candles from her. She was starting a candle company on like Etsy and uh, Facebook market. And now she has expanded and it's the coolest thing. She bought the old independent pharmacy in town, downtown Vandergrift that closed. So it's the old pharmacy with the old pharmacy cabinets and she opened a shop and it's super exciting. She has um, like candles, crafting supplies. Then she's got like kids activities. They do like stitch and bitch, um, something else. They do some other kind of crafts. They do a lot of kids. She's like super, super good with kids. She's got four kids and she was like in school to be it was she it was like early childhood development or something and that was what she was originally going to go to school for and she would be perfect for it because she just has a way with kids she's like really good with them so she does a lot of children's activities there she's a girl scout leader and stuff so anyway my mom is coming over we're going to spend some time doing some cleaning and then we're going to drive out to see shannon's new shop and do some shopping so i'm very excited that's what we're doing this afternoon but my mom should be here well I'll get the alert on Life360. She was supposed to be here 10.30 or 11. It's about 10.45 right now. She still hasn't left the house, which is good because I have to do this and then I have to go for a run <laughs> before we start doing anything. But um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. My things have been really rough and it's it's been like mostly or all work-life balance stuff. And thankfully it's like not related to my actual day-to-day -day, like, 
I don't know. I'm not gonna really talk about it, but it's not my patient. It's not my day-to-day -day job. It's it's other stuff. So um, I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm gonna try not to think about it. I went into work yesterday extra on my day off and I was gonna go back today and then my partner was like, girl, don't do that. Don't do that. We'll figure it out. We'll do what we can do and that's all we can do and you don't have to be coming in on your days off and stressing about stuff. And I was like, okay, I feel like I have to. For reference, this is why for all those years I didn't wanna be a manager again. I like to have work be at work and home be at home. And I'm management, not that great for that. <laughs> so, but I love my store. I love my techs. I love my partner. I love what I do. So I have to just figure out how to get through it. But anyway, so that's, that's what the stress is. So, and also the world. Um, I think that's another reason I was drawn to this kit, actually, if I'm being honest. Um, I've been trying because I have so much personal stress going on right now. I've been trying to limit how much I spend watching and reading the news because when the Russian invasion of Ukraine first happened, I was, I had a couple days where I was like, just couldn't turn off the news. And I don't know, as everybody who's been on this channel for like 10 minutes knows, my family is Ukrainian. Well, my mom's side of the family is Ukrainian. And I just found out, I finally did that Ancestry DNA thing, which I've had sitting here forever and ever. And I just found out this week, or last week when I sent it in, um, that apparently my last name may also, is, is also, so my dad's side of the family uh, was Slovakian. It was Czechoslovakia when they came over, but it was they're from Slovakia. And that's what we always have been told the last name is, is Slovak. But then when I like, and I've created my ancestry account, it was like, this is a common Ukrainian and Jewish last name. And I was like, oh, well, there's only like five of us in the US with this name. So I don't know, maybe it's, it's one of those ones that like, there were a bunch of people that came over with the same last name and handwriting being what it was. Oh, fudge. I don't like the way I did that. I should have done these in the center. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, uh, handwriting at Ellis Island being what it was, everybody got A's and O's and H's and K's all mixed up. <laughs> and so there's a bunch of like offshoots of my name. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm kind of interested. I really was like, Oh, I'm gonna do this and then I wasn't gonna do it and then I decided you know what I'm gonna do it but anyway all this to say my mom's side of the family is Ukrainian and maybe part of my dad's okay so here's a story about my baba right so y'all know my baba was my great-grandmother and she was the best she's who I was named after my middle name and she when my mom met my dad they like they were like husband and me like they fell in love really fast and got together and got married right away and like didn't waste any time they were like nope I know you're the one we're done so when my mom wanted to, Bubba to meet my dad she was all worried because he's not Ukrainian and my, you know my Bubba I guess expected her to marry another Ukrainian person and so she brought my dad over to the house and my Bubba ended up like loving my dad because everybody loves my dad because he was the best and so my Bubba said to him, where are you from? Where are you, you're not Ukrainian, where are you from? And so my dad told her and then she like pulled out a map and she like showed him where our family from Ukraine was from and then where his family was from in Slovakia. She's like, see, they're very close. You count, you're close enough to Ukrainian. You can come into the family. So that's the, the story that everybody tells. But anyway, so it'll be interesting to see with this ancestry DNA what comes up because my grandma, on my mom's mom, the one who just passed, they did hers and hers was like all, we thought maybe she would like find something else out. Like, did she have somebody else that we didn't know about? Was there somebody from somewhere else in that same area? No, it was just like Ukraine. Everybody's Ukrainian. Um, and my, my grandpa, my mom's dad, uh, was also 100% Ukrainian. 
but we didn't do anybody else further down the lines DNA so I just did mine so we'll see what else we find out in there but anyway that's always been like a huge part of me and my sense of self is like good strong Ukrainian women that's what my Baba would always say we're good strong Ukrainian women and it's true like everybody lives to be like 80s and 90s Baba would have lived longer if she'd not been so stubborn she had gallbladder cancer and if she had gotten it checked out earlier when we kept telling her to go get it checked out it might not have been so bad but we we're good strong Ukrainian women we are also stubborn Ukrainian women so anyway like you know we still do traditional Ukrainian meals and celebrations and I don't know it's just always been part of our family's you know culture and so this war has been really really it feels personal I and, and so it's been really hard for my mom and my aunt and me to like turn off the news and step away from it. it but it's also been like our people are out there like kicking ass as best they can I mean small but mighty like doing the best we can but it's so tragic and it's just I don't know I think that's wearing on me and I'm not and I'm so wrapped up in how immediate the work stress is right now and the work-life balance stuff that like I'm forgetting all the other things that are in the background weighing on me and one of them being news of the war and just like I don't know all of these things come into feelings of powerlessness and hopelessness and like watching that and feeling like oh my god what could we do I wish we could do something but we can't do anything besides you know donate to causes and there's a there's a Ukrainian bake sale at the church down the street on Saturday and so I'm gonna go and get some baked goods um yeah they think they do the mass they do the mass in three languages at that church I don't remember the name of it but I drive past it all the time so I don't know it's just a lot <laughs> it's a lot right now and like it's scary and it feels personal because it's my people's homeland and I always wanted to go visit Ukraine because we have like all the information my grandma kept a great record of like the villages where my um, Bubba well my Bubba was actually born in the US she was the first generation born in the US but her parents were actually came over from Ukraine and my Gigi her husband my great-grandfather he was the for he came over so he was he came over from Ukraine when he was a teenager um, and they met at the boarding house where my Bubba worked and he was working in the mill so like it feels very like close to home but it also feels like the global implications like it could get close to actual home where I'm living but yeah I always wanted to go out and visit at some point and go there and like see where my family was from and you know just take a vacation to go there and it's been so volatile that was my goal was for my 32nd birthday was I wanted to do that and that was 2014 when the Crimea stuff happened so um yeah it's just I don't know it's hard to to see it's hard for anybody to see but I feel this like oh my god no not the motherland do you know what I mean anyway that's enough about the world I'm sorry to like derail onto that but I think I'm I'm in trying to ignore how much that's having an impact an impact on me and I'm just like oh no it's just work but like it's not just work it's other stuff and also um if I did fill in after last week I didn't want to say it before because I didn't know when I was gonna have this video come out um, but we did go and visit Cam our beloved shelter baby who he passed away on Thursday the 17th um, I said farewell cam on my thing there that was like my emotional day like I was already having an emotional day and then it got worse because of work that day so um, but yeah we went and saw cam it was such a perfect amazing night and it was just like a magical vigil for him and I don't know we were with it. we love his parents so much and we're so glad that they're in our lives and that was happening last week it was just it was a lot it was so much everything is so much right now and I'm just trying to stay afloat and make it through each day and the Sun being out is a big help like I feel like the Sun helps me so much so I'm gonna get through this but it's a lot right now okay let's plan so I worked Monday and Tuesday so we'll put those in there yeah I don't want to like derail and talk about like real world stuff if you come to this channel because it's a planner channel and you want to see travel and planning and stuff but I don't know it's just 
it's been on my mind. I'm trying not to talk about it and trying to compartmentalize it. And as we all know from years of therapy, not the best idea. I don't know how I feel about this yellow. I want to do the yellow because it's, you know, yellow and blue. I started saying like, oh, I think that's one of the reasons my eye was drawn to this is because it's the, you know, blue and yellow Ukrainian colors. But anyway, yellow pen is hard to write in. <laughs> so we'll see what we can do. Okay, what else do I put in these days that already happened? What do I put for yesterday? Yesterday I had a lot of appointments. Yesterday was a good day for the most part. Actually, I ended up having to go into work on my day off, so it was like not, I don't know, why can't I do this? Why can't I do work-life balance right now? Okay, Monday we went to the cage. Did we go for a walk? I love when I have to consult my phone to remember my life. We went to the cage. We walked to the cage and back. That was our fitness that night. Okay, I got it together here. What am I gonna happen? Yeah, I think we're gonna put on here a big old stress because that's really the key here. Stress. I'll use the yellow to accent it. Yeah, there we go. Looks like I highlighted it. Looks really important, this stress. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I'm just trying to keep going one day at a time. So fitness was a walk. all these big ones. Oh, I have eight big ones here. My silhouette did not do the best job cutting this. There we go. Cage. And I think that's like all we did that day. I think I had no energy and I think I was just like done with life. Okay. Then Tuesday, I went in early, stayed late. <sighs> Um, husband had a work event in the evening, so Layla and I had girls night, so I'll put that here. I skipped a workout because I was just so tired after, I had to work solo, they cut our hours, um, is part of the stress here. They cut our hours, so I was by myself all day on Tuesday, which was not the stuff. So Layla and I had girls night, just the two of us, while husband was out of his event, they had some like they have some people that work um out of town or that live out of town rather they since they went remote for covid um during that time that they were all home working from home they hired some people who re work remotely so that's pretty cool and so but they some of them were in town so they had like a happy hour and then they were gonna try to go to karaoke but the karaoke bar was closed on tuesdays yeah, so they ended up coming home a little bit earlier than they expected, but Layla and I went and got dinner up the hill, and then we, I made a Cosmopolitan while we were having dinner, and then we watched Beaches, which was the best. And then it was hilarious. Husband was like, I'm just gonna stop and get some Wendy's on the way home, because I guess the, they went to a brewery that didn't have food. So I'm just gonna stop and get some Wendy's on the way home. And I was like, well, just go to the cage. The kitchen's open till midnight. And so he went and picked up his takeout from the cage. And so our friend Tina was like, it was funny to see you two at separate times tonight. I was like, Layla and I were already home having a cocktail. Well, Layla wasn't. And then, I wish I had one of those little things where it's like the marquee. I do. <laughs> there we go. Um, have y'all seen Beaches? I have never seen the whole thing all the way through. I've seen like bits and parts of it, but I never saw, like, I never saw the beginning, how they met. I saw I, the part where they like are grown ups and move in together. Um, but I never saw that the very beginning. And I don't think I ever saw the actual end. And so Layla and I watched it and it was so good. I loved it. I was like, what have I been missing all my life? So it was really good. Bette Midler is obviously amazing. I didn't realize how many songs she gets. Okay, so when I was a kid, um, if you've not seen Beaches, it's Bette Midler. It's from 1988. It is a tearjerker. It's a tragedy. But it's like a wonderful like movie about girl power and you know girlfriends and how 
friendships last can last forever even through difficult times and stuff anyway so it's like beautiful but there's a lot of like singing in it because um Bette Midler does play an actress and singer and so she actually gets to perform a number of songs which is nice but one of the ones she's like performing at this like local like avant-garde small theater production off off broadway kind of thing and i don't know what the plot of this play that they are putting on but the song is oh industry it's on the soundtrack and you may have heard it if you've seen the movie you've heard it but if not i don't know if you would have heard it but i think my memory of it is that in you know 1988 89 that there was a video version of it on MTV that used the performance from the movie, but also interspersed it with clips from the movie. Like, so the scene is like two and a half minutes long of her performing this song and it's like creepy and spooky and they have these creepy masks on and like, they're dancing like kind of like faceless robots and like I don't know just I'll try to put a link in the description box if you want to watch this amazing video but I have this memory that on MTV in like 88 89 when it came out that there was like an extended version or like the full song version because the full song version on the soundtrack is an extra verse and chorus than what's in the actually played in the movie and I have this memory that it's that and then they like the parts that weren't actually f that scene, they put in other clips from the movie. Does anybody else who was around in the 80s and watched MTV remember this? Because I tried desperately to find it and I couldn't find it. So I don't know, maybe I'm imagining this and they didn't, but how would I have known? I remember like running into the room when it was on MTV because I was so obsessed with it. And it's scary. It was scary to me as a kid. It's creepy. Like even as a grown up now, I'm like, well, that is creepy. I see why I was so scared of it as a kid. But I fucking loved it. And so I was so stoked to see that part in the movie. But anyway, also that's the movie where Wind Beneath My Wings is from. That's the final song. It's good shit, you should watch it. And you'll cry. And then Husband came home with like the last 15 minutes, like right before the big dramatic tearjerker moment. And he's like, so babe, they're just friends? And I'm like, shh, shh. He's like, so they've just been like friends forever. And then like this happened. And I'm like, shh, yes, babe. It's just, you have to watch the movie on your own time. I can't explain it all to you. <laughs> so anyway, that was awesome. I had a wonderful time. Now I need to see what we're going to do. I'm like, I keep telling husband, I'm like, maybe you could go to another work event. And then Layla Grace and I could watch. Oh, I had work stickers and I didn't use them. Oh, well. I'm just rambling a lot today. I'm so sorry. Okay, so yesterday was Wednesday. I got my eyelashes done. Eyelashes. And then I had to go to work. So I could put frowny face. I didn't have to go to work, I guess, but I felt obligated to go to work and try to tie some loose ends up. Um, work, womp womp, frowny face. And then I did have to go pick up supplies from another store for a patient so I don't mind doing that as long as it's somewhere nearby that I can get to easily and then I came home I had a cappuccino I should put that on here always want to celebrate your cappuccinos when you get them all right I never know if I spell cappuccino right or wrong and I don't care I try my best okay so after I came home I was working on some stuff and I was doing some like not video edits but some other stuff on my computer and then the most exciting moment was I went to dance class at 6.30 p.m. So my friend Shannon, not the one, this is where I said there's two Shannons in this video. My friend Shannon, who's, who is mom to Layla, the other black Layla dog, um, Layla Grace is a little black pit bull, and Layla is a large black lab, and they, we met, husband took Layla Grace to the photo shoot at Wagsburg for Valentine's Day and Shannon took Layla and they were in line next to each other not knowing who each other was and Layla the lab was being very badly behaved and so Shannon kept saying Layla sit and every time she would say Layla sit my Layla would sit and so then finally she asked husband is her name Layla too and he's like oh yeah it's Layla Grace and then the rest is history. We've been friends ever since. And the dogs go for walks together sometimes. They have a good time. But um, Shannon's been taking these community classes at PBT, the Pittsburgh Ballet Theater. And so she was like, there's a contemporary class on Wednesday nights. Do you want to go with me when you're off? And I was like, yes, I do. 
I absolutely do. So that's what we did last night. And it was my first dance class since like 2003 when I was in college. And it was so good. It was just, I can't remember the last time that I felt so like, <laughs> you know, like I felt so alive and so good and so happy. I don't know. It was so wonderful. And you know what? I felt really strong. Like I felt, and then we did improv at the end and a couple people came up to me and were like, you looked really good. Your improv was really good tonight. And I was like, thank you. I practice it in my kitchen every single night when I'm cooking dinner. Thank you. But I loved it. It was so much fun. And I like super can't wait to go back. So that's what I did yesterday instead of a run. <laughs> I was supposed to run yesterday. And instead I went to a dance class and it was so good. And then I came home and I made dinner. And then I went to bed, I was so tired. I, I just think it's like emotional toll of life right now. So we made HelloFresh fig balsamic pork, super good. And then, yeah, we didn't even like watch a movie or anything. We didn't. We were going to and I was just too tired, so I don't, I don't know. Why am I so tired? Anyway, kick this morning off with walking dogs and now I'm filming this and yeah so that's today and then my mom's gonna come over we're gonna go see Shannon and we're gonna watch a movie and we gotta go to the grocery store and get supplies to make my mom always wants tacos when she comes over she loves taco night Friday tomorrow diamond life in the evening I can put that on here I'll put that down here and then I'll fill in some other stuff around it so excited um because next month last month i was last month i was out of town next month we're actually going to be out of town as well because our friends are getting married we're going to the wedding out in ohio and so we'll be away next month but this month we will be here tomorrow night can't wait saturday i have a prank we're not doing so prank is pittsburgh runs at night club it's a group of us that did a relay together um we have a night a group where we do we we used to do it like once a month or every other month night runs around the city and several people in our group are doing the rachel carson trail challenge in june and that i was thinking about doing and then i i don't know i guess i scheduled a bar crawl that day which is probably why do i sometimes write vp daily instead of daily vp that doesn't make sense to my brain it must anyway um in a way, I should not be training for anything that big. It's a 35 mile hike. It's sun up to sundown on the solstice. Um, it's a really difficult set of trails, but it's like the kind of shit that I live for. Like give me a challenging trail situation for, for sure I'll do it. But I really don't have enough time to commit to like a good training routine right now for that. And I know the right thing is for me to not do it and maybe plan for next year. But like right now, I'm still just like rebuilding my relationship with running. So now it's not the time. But anyway, we are doing, um, since some of the people in our group are doing the challenge, we're doing night um, night hike at Rachel Carson, part of the Rachel Carson Trail. So that's gonna be super exciting, except that it might snow now. <laughs> yes, March 26th, it's apparently going to snow. Um, okay, and then Sunday, what's Sunday? Sunday is pictures with the dogs. I have to run in the morning. And then it's doggy photo shoot, so I gotta make sure I put that on here. I'll put that right here, and then I can fit in the dog, the, um, my running information above that. It's at Wagsburg, it's the Easter Bunny photos. And we are 12 p.m. So I admit this kit is a lot like more pastel than I normally do in soft colors than I normally like, but it looks really cute and springy and I like it a lot. So pretty happy with it. All right, so I am gonna close it out here. I'm going to go get my run in real fast before my mom arrives. She'll probably be coming over in the middle of my run, but that's fine. And that's where we're leaving the week. So thank you all for checking in and listening. Oh, to my stress levels. As always, uh, please subscribe if you are new here so you can see more of these videos. And as always, please take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you in my next video.